Hi everyone, this is Shahad Alni San and this video is about Martin Pruyer. Martin Pruyer was born in 1941 in Washington and he is an African American artist known for his devotion to traditional graph. Working in bronze and with, among other media, his reductive technique and meditative approach challenged the physical and beautic boundaries of his material. He was educated at Catholic University in Washington and Yala University and he earned a Master of Fine Art degree in 1971. Event happened dur during his life. His first one person exhibition was in 1968 and since then he has exhibited throughout the world including public commission in Europe, Asia and the United States. He represented the United States at 1989 Benal de San Paulo, where he was awarded the Festival Grand Prize, and his work was featured in Document 9 in 1992. In 2007, the Museum of Modern Art in New York organized a survey of his work, which traveled to the National Gallery of Art in Washington, the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, and the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth. In 2015, the Art Institute of Chicago organized an exhibition of 50 years of his work on paper, which traveled to the Morgan Library and Museum in New York and the American Art Museum in Washington. Breuer received a Mark Arthur Foundation Award Award in 1989 and a National Medal of Art from President Obama in 2011. Breuer's theory on art summarized in those two sentences. He said, Art gives me a pleasure to feel there is a level that does not require a knowledge of or immersion in the atheistic of a given time or place. Also, he say, I think there are a number of levels at which my work can be dealt with and appreciated. Art movement that he, he belonged to, Breuer, extremely and evocated sculpture made from Materials such as wood and wire are associated with post-terminalism. The artwork of Martin Breuer is a product of visibility, complex graph construction, and manipulation of poor material. Its form are combination of organic and geometric. Its process can be described as reductive seeking to bring work and material close to its original and creating rationally in its work, drive it from the maker and act of making. The main visual elements that Breuer tend to use are line, shape, color, texture, and mass. Also, he used many principles of design such as balance and directional forces. His work is widely exhibited and collected both in the United States and internationally. And included among Breuer public work is his large-scale composition, Arc 1988, which was designed for York College and can be viewed personally on the school campus in Queen, New York. Breuer also has created several permanent artworks, such as Bodark Art in 1982, Pepinic in the Tree 1993, Big Blink in 2016, and A First Look at Liberty, May 8, 2019. He also collaborated with landscape architects on the design of public space. The, the function of Moore's artwork of Mark Breuer is an expressive sculpture that often reveals a humble focus on human touch 
and the graph traditional of the woodwork. The art criticism that he has received is expressive theories since he considered one of the most powerful and controversial African-American at the turn of century advocate self advancement through discipline and hard work. However, he rejects the pure set of political and social equality for black Americans in favor of developing functional and demonstrative skill. Although he was well respected within the African American community at large, Washington viewpoints were admittedly opposed by some American uh, African American intellectuals who believe that without being polit politically active, significant equal rights and economic gain were impossible. The artist has created a number of work that relate to African American history and include Ladder for Book T. Washington that is made from a single split spelling ash tree. The ladder has multiple associations and prior homage to Book T. Washington may include several of these ambition, hierarchy, or the impossible impossibility of reaching the top. The artist has been selected to represent the United States at the 2019 Vinci Benilli DC, and he is the second African American artist who is a row chosen to represent the United States. Finally, the extra credit is about his personality. When he was adolescent, he showed interest in nature by making details, drawing in bird and insects. He he is eager to travel, so Buer joined the peace group and was assigned to a roommate village in Sierra Leone. This is my reference www.matthewsmark.com, en.wikipedia.org, biography.puredictionary.com, Martin Brewer. Thank you for listening.